Hi, it's Denise. Welcome to Hunter's home. He says, welcome. Welcome to my home. Oh, I love you guys. Today has just been such a go, go, go day. Um, I've thought about you all so much and thought, gosh, I've got to get with you. I want to make sure that I get with you. And I have a, one of the new wigs on and it's kind of long. Uh, and I just didn't get here until now. It's quarter to five. I thought about you and prayed about you all day. I don't know if I told you this. I think I did. Where's my notebook? Okay. I adopted a rat for Peyton. Um, it's a, a little rat that one of her friends had and she decided that she didn't want it anymore. And I got a nice cage and stuff along with her, but she's been alone for her whole life and rats are very social creatures. So today I went to the pet store and bought two babies. And these were feeder rats. They're just tiny, about four weeks old. And my goodness, you know, they're little skinny things. If I was making the rules, snakes would eat bugs, but I'm not making the rules. They eat furry things. Some of them do. But anyway, I bought these two, and since I bought them as pets, they charged me more money than if I would have just bought them as little feeder rats. I have hair sticking out there. Um, and I wanted little girls, so, I mean, I couldn't very well ask for females feeder rats. I told them what I wanted them for, and they picked out two little girls. And they're beautiful. They've got these beautiful little doe eyes. They're so pretty. Rats are wonderful pets. They're very smart, very social. And you know, the rat that we had, Peyton named it Aphrodite, the little girl Aphrodite. I don't remember what she's named the other two now, um, <clears throat> but she's named them. We put them in the bathtub so that they could kind of bond a little bit or at least see each other. And at first it was, you know, the little babies were kind of huddled up together and I know they were hungry. I gave them some blueberries and they ate blueberries and they ate some carrot and they ate some rat food, but they just hadn't been eating. You know, they haven't been offered food. There were going to be food. Um, and they got a little bit spunkier when they ate. And Aphrodite was not sure what to think about him at first. But, you know, by the time we took him out of the tub, she was grooming them. Now, we have to keep them separated for a little bit because they're so tiny that they get through the, the wires, the bars of the cage. So I had a bird cage that we're going to keep them in for now uh, and take them out to play in the bathtub reason why the bathtub is because they can't climb out of it. Um, and it gives them lots of room to run. I don't put bedding in there or anything, though. Uh, my animals are very interested. Lacey more so than Hunter. I'm kind of surprised. Hunter is a loudmouth. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. He's verbal and vocal. Right? You have something important to say, don't you? Uh, and their breed, they kind of go after things like this. That's part of who they are. So we've had to make sure that the cages can't be gotten into. And so far, Hunter's been pretty good. He's listened to me and I praise him like crazy when he listens. Uh, and Lacey's just laying there right now. She's being a really good girl, Lacey. Good girl. 
good girl. Um, Jessica, my daughter, is working with a, a trainer for her dogs. And one of the things that he said that was so important. And I'm learning. I'm learning more about training dogs from her. Uh, you're heavy on the praise and really light on the criticism. And that's the way it is with kids, too. Uh, sometimes they get carried away and you have to physically take them away from whatever it is that they're getting into. And I find that kind of difficult because they're bigger than me. <laughs> they're not really. But I'm not as agile as I used to be. Anyhow, so we got the baby rats and we have them in their cage now. And uh, I bought another cage for um, Aphrodite. She needed it. And the, she was in a guinea pig cage, so it wasn't big enough for her. And she's out about now where she can see people around her and stuff. And that's going to help her get more socialized and happy. Um, so we have new members of our family. Peyton was gone. She went and spent the night with a girlfriend last night and came back. Oh goodness. Probably an hour or so ago to her new babies. And she was pretty happy. She wanted the cage in her room. And I told her, no, not right now that they need to be out so that we can watch them. And I kind of don't want him in there anyway, because she's gone during the day. And I told her, you know, you're gone during the day and they need to be socialized. So she's all right with that right now. Um, I want her to be involved. I want her to be able to bond with these little creatures. I think that's really important. Um, so that's what we've been doing today. And I put stuff away in the craft room and you know, stuff that I've hauled and haven't kind of gotten it down the hallway and to the craft room, but not put away. So we put that stuff away. I did. And did all the normal stuff that I do. And it kind of took up the day. And that's not to say that I haven't had you on my heart and on my lips. I've been praying for you. And I, I normally get this video out sooner. And I so apologize. It's not because it's not important to me anymore. These things are very important. Um, and sometimes there's a... It's like an ox in the quagmire. You need to take care of those things because they're, they're important to the people that, that you love. Um, I know I don't have everybody down here. I really need you guys to be putting in now the post that we're going to make today, the video that's being made today. Uh, it'll be open to post in all week. Please bring your prayer request to that video. Uh, add comments. You can add comments all the time. You don't have to wait and view it again to comment. You can comment anytime. I really need to have your prayer requests so that we can bring them before the Lord together. I really believe that it's powerful, that our prayers are powerful. We've seen him work in Lacey's life this week. And I'm just so grateful for that. And I see that you all have responded so much to that request for prayer. And I want that same thing for you as well. That our lives in being submitted to God, we need to trust him to take care of us. We need to trust him with our wants and our needs. We need to trust him to provide for us, to heal us, to bring us joy and peace. And that kind of, that hope that we have in our futures. And remember shalom, the absence of chaos. 
We really, really need shalom in our lives, don't we? Well, I have a list of probably 20. 20? I don't know. Let's say not that many. Where are you? The cat's helping me, and it's not a whole lot of help. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen people. And for our country, that we need to pray for our country. I want so much to lift you all up, and I will. It's, and if it just is unspoken, that's okay. God knows, doesn't he? He knows. Don't be afraid to put a little, hey, include me in your prayers. As we go to him, let's remember who he is. Remember that he is our all in all. Remember that he's mighty and awesome, that he's good, that he provides all the good things for us. And he truly, no matter where the money comes from, it comes from him, doesn't it? Any provision comes from him. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we come to you today, Lord. Lord, we want to lift each other up in prayer. We want to acknowledge who you are, that you are worthy to be praised, that you are worthy and your majesty surpasses anything. You hold all of our pieces. You hold the pieces to our hearts. You hold the pieces to our bodies and our minds. Lord God, you know where they all go. Only you could do that. I believe you take great delight in bringing joy to your, your children. I believe that you are worthy. You are on, the only worthy one. Lord God, I pray shalom over all in our group. I pray your peace. I pray absence of chaos. I pray for us to button up our hatches that the enemy would have no place with us. That we are strong in a group and that you hold us up, that you lift us up, Lord God. You brought us all together for a reason. And Lord, use us. Use us to reach out to others. Use us to, to pray for others. To show other people the way to you. Our strength is, is in you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, first, I think I'd like to lift up our country. I am lifting up our country in your name. Lord God, there's been so many changes over the past few years. Our leaders need you desperately. We need to be a country under God again. Lord God, show us how. Show us what to do. Show us how we can be productive members of this society that we can bring your majesty and your power back in, into our schools, to our children, to our families. Lord God, that you would prevail in politics, that you would prevail in everything that, that we need from you. And we need it all. Lord, I pray for our leaders that don't know you. Lord, I pray for those that don't, that you would touch them, touch their hearts. Help us to be mindful, to continue to pray. Because truly, for change, it's you. 
We can say everything that we want to say. You know, we can be political. It's not in the politics. It's in our faith. And Lord, I have faith that we are a blessed nation. And Lord, I pray for us to be under God, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Lord Jesus, I lift up Lavender. You'll see her as Lavender. Her name is Linda. Linda is going through some health issues that she thought were done, and they're not. And Lord, I pray that you would hold her and keep her and give her strength to walk this road one more time or whatever amount that she's going to have to. She's a sweet and wonderful woman of God. Lord, I praise you for giving her health. I praise you for bringing her through this. I praise you for ridding her body of the intruder. In your name, Jesus. Lord, I lift up Lori and Lacey. I lift up Lori and her husband and the family. There are so many people involved when there's mental illness. It isn't just the person that's mentally ill. The rest of the family gets sick too. Everyone in that family is on the same road as Lacey is. And Lord, I lift them all up to you for peace, to practice shalom, to be there without chaos for that daughter, their loved daughter and sister. That as she walks this road, that they would be able to support her and love her in a really healthy way. Lord, that they would bring her you, that they would bring her and put you, put her at your feet, Lord God. I pray a hedge of protection around her, that nothing that the enemy has in mind can touch her anymore. Lord God, she belongs to you. I believe that. Enemy, you have to take your hands off of her. You have no place with her. She belongs to the Lord. In your precious name, Jesus, we pray this. Pray over the doctors that tend to her, that they would know the best way to treat her physically, mentally, spiritually. That she would become every way with whole. In your name, Jesus. In your name. You know, I just feel like I need to lift up Mandisa's family. Mandisa is a, a gal that struggled with issues all of her life, was gifted with this beautiful voice. I remember seeing her for the first time on, um, oh, is it Star Search? Just blown away by her. And the world was too. I don't know why she died. She's only 47, I think. But she was found in her home. Lord God, you're embracing her now. She's with you now. And I pray over her family. Those that look to her. And that she shared her faith with. That they would know that we're all imperfect. And we all do things that maybe in the end, might cause damage. I really don't know, and I'm not trying to presume why she passed away. Um, I pray for her family. And I pray for those that loved her. Lord God, there's a family in uh, Oregon that I'd like to lift up to you. She's not really related, but sort of. 
um, Patricia and my son Jacob had a daughter together and they gave that daughter up for adoption. Patricia had another son named Damien. Damien died March 23rd, 12 years old. Uh, had an abscess in his brain. And they got that out, but the swelling in his brain just took him. It was a matter of two days. I lift up Patricia as a mom. I know that her heart is broken. I also lift up Justina, his sister, who loved that boy unconditionally. Just loved him so much. She's an adult. And he was her baby brother. She's struggling so much. I lift her up to you that she would hold her and assure her that Damien is okay. Tell her it's okay to hug that blanket. I remember when I lost my brother and so many of us have lost siblings. And oftentimes it's the children that that get overlooked in the grief process because of, of course the parents are grieving. But with that being said, I definitely lift up his mama, Patricia, to you. And I also lift up um, Justina. I don't know the little boy's name. I think he's very young yet, but I speak a hedge of protection around him that he would know that his brother is okay. Thank you, Jesus. Ruby has come to us more than once with unspoken prayers that she's needed help. And she's come back with praise reports saying that it's helping, it's helping. So let's continue to keep Ruby in our prayers. Her God knows what she needs. God knows what's going on. And Lord, we lift her up to you in your precious name that you would address those needs of hers and she would see your faithfulness and your love in her life. Lord, I lift up Pamela to you. I pray for Pamela every day. She's wonderful. She's a sweet, sweet gal that I've met through this channel. And she lost her mother and her husband, I believe, in the same year. And she has a son that she's able to see from time to time. But she's pretty... I think it's been two years. And it's still so difficult and so fresh and so new. She spends a lot of time alone with her kitty cat, Figaro. I pray health over that kitty cat, that he would be there for her. And I pray that you would hold her in your arms, Lord God, that you would cradle her and help her to know that you catch all of her tears, that you have them. You know her heart and you know her grief. Lord God, help her to walk this road. I know it's difficult. Lord, I lift up Katie, my Katie, and her kids to you and her husband. Lord God, as they navigate their life and, and raising these children with their jobs and everything that they do, Lord, I pray a hedge of protection around all of them that you would be the absolute in their lives. And I do believe that they look to you that way. These children are so loved by you and love you so much. So proud of them. Lord, there are unspoken needs here. 
and I lift those up to you. In your name, Jesus. I lift Adele up to you. Lord God, I just have her so heavy on my heart. Lord, you know why. And you're the only one that really needs to know why. But I lift her up to you, Lord, that you would minister to her and help her with her needs, Lord. Lord, I lift up Vanessa to you. Lord, she needs you so badly and she loves you so much. There's so much going on in her life. And Lord, I pray for rest, rest for her spirit, rest for her body, rest for her soul. That she would close her eyes and fall into restful sleep and sleep all night long. Lord, I lift up Tyra to you. She's become a really, a daytime, you know, an everyday person in my life. And I, you know, as we've been lifting up um, Lori and Lacey to you, she told me that she works with the mentally ill. And I know, I've worked in that field too. I worked with developmentally disabled and mentally ill mentally challenged and it's such a, a difficult job. I pray over her that she would be renewed every day, that you would renew her strength, that she would be able to give and give and give and give because that's what this is. Many times it's thankless. Many times it's without viewable reward for a long, long time. She's so needed in what she does. I lift her up to you, Lord, for refreshing and renewal. And Lord, that she would know that there are others around her that know how much she does and how much she gives. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my goodness, I, I need to lift up my daughter, Melissa. I haven't talked about her much. Um, but she sent me a, a video today of her walking and she swings her hips when she walks. She said, do I look normal? And no, she doesn't. She's had back surgery and she's been having pain in one of her hips and down her leg and it's affected her gait. And I pray over her, Lord, if it's your will to miraculously heal her, that she could walk free of this, this debilitating issue that I've passed on to my kids. Speak against that in your name, Jesus. I speak health. I speak wholeness into this body of hers. I lift up her children. And you know, Lord, you know them so well. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I lift up Jessica. And I lift her up and pray for her finances. She, because of needs of her family, quit her job. She needs to be there 24 seven for her daughter and she did it without hesitation. She has sources of income because of disability. It's going to drop her income quite a bit. And I pray over her, Lord, that, that she would be restored, that you would stretch those dollars for her as she walks that road with her child that needs to be walked. I admire her so much for putting that child first that her needs come first. 
I pray for Peyton and Amanda, Lord. Peyton is such a sweetheart, and I love her so much. I pray over her, Lord. You know her. You know her in and out. You know what her needs are. And Lord, I pray for Amanda. Lord, that you would open her heart. That she would feel such need for her child. That she would walk a different road. And you know there's a lot of unspoken stuff there. Lord, I lift up every one of my precious, precious family on YouTube. All of us need prayer. All of us need strength. All of us need to exercise our faith. This world is a different place than it used to be. And in some ways that's really good because I think that we come together more and that we realize the need more. Lord, as I lift up each and every one, I pray protection. I pray for healing. I pray for you, God, to put your arms around each and every one to know how close that you are. Lord, thank you for knitting us together as a family here. You've given us a love that I can't even explain. Lord, I, I speak a hedge of protection around all of us, each and every one of us, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, that we belong to you and only you. Lord, that we would walk in that fullness of life that you give us. Lord, that we would walk in the promises that you give us of, of now and, and later. Lord, thank you. Thank you so much for giving us your son. Jesus, thank you for what you've done, that you've sacrificed your life so that we could be free. Thank you, Lord. I pray this and, and so much more in your precious name. And as we discover more about your names tomorrow, we can start praying in those names. You are Elohim. You are almighty. Almighty God. And almighty God can do all things. And in your name, Elohim, we pray. Amen. Oh, goodness. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for giving us time this Saturday. Mama's here with us now. Yeah, she's so pretty. She wears eye makeup. Have you noticed? Let's see if I can turn her around. If she's good enough, she's not going to cooperate. She doesn't cooperate unless she wants to. And that's not cooperation. That's like, if I feel like it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And until next time.